Hey guys, John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, we're going to look at a really cool way of changing the curves of crossfades, uh, fade ins and out, and also automation curves just by dragging. I think this is a really awesome tip that you're going to really enjoy. So first let's look at it with automation. And this is something that we can do with mouse modifiers. So I'm just gonna put an edit point here and an edit point here, and I'm gonna drag this down. And if I wanna change the curve of this, we could go into the menu, go to envelope, point shape, and set this to linear, square, or whatever. But we could just alt drag and change that shape. So now we made a super steep slope and we can alt drag and we can make that more gradual. We can bring it back to linear. Pretty much any shape other than S curve or square can be done here but anything in between we can do. Really, really cool. Now with fades and crossfades, let me put in a, a cut here and I'll just drag so it overlaps and creates a crossfade. That is this option, auto crossfade media items when editing. So I have a crossfade here. I can just click and drag to move this, but I can't actually change the fade shape. Uh, I can right click and then choose a different shape. Wouldn't it be cool if we could do the same thing that alt drag trick. Alt drag does nothing. It resets it back to the default. And with a fade out, if I alt click on this, it deletes the fade. Alt drag just moves the position. It doesn't change that curve. So let's look in mouse modifiers and find out why that is. So open up preferences. We want media item fade auto crossfade. We want left drag. And we're going to set this to option and adjust fade curve. Just adjust curve. Click apply. And now we have exactly what we wanted there. We can drag up and down, left and right. And the same with the fade out and the fade in. Alt drag on the curve part and we can change that shape and we can in real time see the results of that. I think this is really cool and I hope it helps with your work. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support on Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. But.